Right now, work is underway on an 1859 jail where workers made an interesting discovery. KMBC 9's Alan Shope shows us how you'll be able to see their findings on the Independence Square. Two days ago, the workmen started pulling up shovels of dirt. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find when you start digging a hole. First, they found some bones. Oh, that's kind of scary. So we had to call the police department. You know, was it a person that had been there for 150 years? No, luckily they said it was probably an animal. This project has been years in the making for the 1859 Museum. Northwest corner of the building has been slowly sinking, but a recent $300,000 repair starting. And while digging below the foundation, they found some pretty cool items. Some pottery, some bottles, some tools. It's history that's been history and buried for nearly two centuries. And this piece came out later in the day much deeper. It's a puzzle the museum has spent the better part of two days trying to put together and figure out. Basically what we found is proof of domestic occupation. Even perfume and wine bottles and a saw. It's history that tells a little more of the Jackson County story. It gives us an idea of what was here before. Jason says everything found predates the 1859 jail. The group says this was just the first dig, but next week they're hoping to do another one and make it more extensive and hopefully find more stuff. And we're going to have our own little archaeological dig. Gloria says whatever they find, they'll put on display inside the museum. On the square in Independence, Alan Shope, KBC 9 News. Now the northwest corner of the building is closed to the public for some time while they've waited on the construction to fix it.